What's going on, everybody? We're going live right about now. <clears throat> and I want to just touch base with everybody. Say, how are you? Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to touch base, going live now. want to make sure that uh, everybody can see uh, the new stream. Wow, wow, there it is right there. Check it out. Cool. All right. So this is day six. What to do when you have nothing to do. Now, uh, before we get into the, the, the tips of the architects community, uh, first of all, the most important thing is that you're all staying safe and healthy. <clears throat> uh, I myself am losing my voice a little bit as you can imagine, uh, from all of the, uh, the conversations that we're having in the background, but that's okay. Kind of goes far with the territory. So nonetheless, what to do when you have nothing to do? Very simple. Um, there are a couple of quick updates, if I may. One, the entire community now, as you move into the register for free, for those of you who are in it, and now there's almost 200 of you who have taken us up on the offer. Thank you very much. Um, to take the, um, three free days of, uh, the jump. Again, if you notice by now, it doesn't cost you anything. All you gotta do is show up and the link is right there in the post. It's register free over there on Architecting 360, but everybody's migrated in the new system. You will get a text and an email uh, from our CRM, our customer relations management software, and also uh, Sarah, who is our customer service relations manager, just to follow up with you as you're going, because you're gonna have some questions. Also too, you're gonna get introduced to some of the architects who are, of course, um, letting uh, or jumping in, excuse me, so that they can help you with support, which means that you also now we're going to be adding a calendar section that you'll be able to get into the sequencing that will allow you to um, book a free session with one of the architects. Absolutely no cost to you. What does a free session mean? A free session is, is a reflection session. So as you know from the architects, one of the things that we're pretty adamant about is, well, we don't really have any answers for you, but we have really, really good questions. We have an entire 30 year system that we built and constructed and tested thousands and thousands of times with thousands of people that repeats itself so that people can wake themselves up to their own truth. And now when I say wake up, I don't necessarily mean that you're not making decisions or doing things in your life right now. What I am saying is you can wake up to pulling yourself out of these thoughts that are negative, pulling yourself out of a, maybe a rut that maybe you're going through this week or depression has become a very big popular one, no surprise, over this next week. And it's going to get more intense as we go through the next process here of the next couple of weeks. Uh, as many of you have undoubtedly figured out by now that this is not a short-term process. This is not going to be just three days and it's over. So it's going to be another couple of weeks. And from the inside information, um, 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 from what I've been told, <laughs> for whatever that's worth, we're looking at another, you know, possibly 30 days. So let's prepare for that. So the first part of the jump is free. There's a bunch of other things in the background. Now there's a bunch of uh, meditations in there. There is a bunch of uh, yoga in there from architecting vinyasa Two of the other architects have stepped up. You'll be seeing that coming in here in the next day or two. This is all free and it's unlimited use. Okay. So there is no, by the way, there's more, but if you uh, click now and there's not an upsell to a lander, to an OTO, none of that BS, you just register and you're in. Okay. We don't sell your list. We don't solicit you for anything else, except for what we're doing inside the architect community. There is zero obligation to buy anything. The three days are for free. What you see is what you get. Okay. It is the first full three days and is a, an absolutely interactive experience. And this week I'm proud to announce for those of you who are wondering where your new passion is kind of going to go during this next 30 days. And ultimately when we come out on the other side and beyond all of this, our new interactive passion test is going to go live this week. Now, when I say interactive, I mean, it's bloody interactive. We're going to pose to you the questions you go through the quiz and you're going to choose from what feels most aligned and right for you. It will guide you through the path all the way to the end and then you'll see your results and it will give you a recommendation of where your passion is or where your passion isn't. And then you can make decisions about how you want to architect your life and architect your lifestyle from there forward. Cost you absolutely nothing. Free. Very proud of this thing. Very excited about where it's going and very proud of the architect community. Everybody's moved over, migrated over to the new platform now. So when you click the link, you will be registering on our new interactive platform. We're adding more and more things there today. The architects and training series is now completely up. It is fully interactive, including all the tests, all the worksheets, um, all your certificate of completions. And for those of you who do complete the jump, you also will get, you'll get your, um, certificate of completion from the jump. So you'll get that as well. Awesome. It's all there, but it's all unlimited use costs you absolutely nothing to, uh, to use it except for push play. The immunity, um, meditation is there. The, uh, uh, free from stress and worry. Uh, hypnotherapy program is there. I've also added the programming, the A, which is programming the A, meaning straight A's. For those of you who are learning or maybe doing some self-education or, or 
uh, going through university or online university, obviously now, uh, to help you get straight A's, but also too for the parents who are homeschooling their kids. This uh, helps them on multiple levels and it can be used from any age from seven up. Obviously, you want to go enjoy that. And there's about 40 other programs in there that are all coming online. And I'll be working on the next immunity program, which I expect to release by Monday, given the current workload I'm under right now, which would be immunity 2.0. That will allow you to go into a deeper state of immunity to really work on your health as we go through these times. Because since we're not going out as much, Obviously, we're not being able to go to the gym. We're not physically exercising as much and our body's going to feel that. And so we want to make sure that our immune system stays up as much as possible. The immunity one, I think, has already been used 2,000 sometimes last I checked. So it's just exploded. Um, and it's, again, it's all free. Cost you absolutely nothing. So the new system is up and running. Feel free to jump in there, tool around. The leaderboard is up. Uh, we're already starting to get some of the people going through their gamification, getting their badges and their updates as they go through and listen to programs and it gamifies it automatically for you. So it also is fun. So that brings us back to what do we do when there's nothing to do? Now, let's, let's qualify what to do actually means. If you recall, prior to this experience in the COVID-19 pandemic global experience, we have always had something to do. We had to take the kids to school. We had to get up um, and you know, we've got to go to the, we got to go to work. We got to get our coffee. We got to do our dry cleaning. We got, we got to do stuff, right? We got stuff to do. And a lot of that stuff that we do, quote unquote, is really just filling up time to keep us from what we really want to experience. Now, here's the irony. Now we have time, but we can't go experience what we want to experience. It always seems like we can't get the two to work together, right? So this is that time to now really ask yourself, what is it I want to experience? Now you're going, oh, come on, Travis, you're just mincing words with me. No, I'm not. The word sequence between doing something and experiencing something is radically different. So by shifting our first word usage, which by the way, you learn in module two in the Architects and Training, which is called the power of words, we learn how to shift our language because our brain interprets and stores words based on the memory experience or the emotional experience from which we learned the word. And when we first understood what that word means, we have to validate that meaning. So as we start to validate that meaning, we're basically creating a belief structure. So if, for example, uh, I'll use smoking as examples. One, some that most people have had some sort of experience with, especially with vaping being pretty popular in today's world, right? The very first time you ever, uh, you know, took an inhale of a cigarette, you had an emotional experience. If you're like most, you probably coughed, you probably coughed up, you maybe got lightheaded, a little high, maybe even vomited, or you enjoyed it. It depends on where you were at, right? But the emotional experience of the cigarette is what creates the experience of then going to experience, to do something because I want to experience something. See, when we're doing things, we're not really experiencing per se. We're just kind of wandering around in this kind of hypnotic state. I've got to go to the laundry, I've got to do the kids, I've got to go do things. And you know, things happen, you might react to it, but you're not really experiencing. So we want to get out of the phraseology, if you're willing to get out of the phraseology of doing something. I want to experience something. Now we can experience something by actually doing nothing. Now that's going to sound really bizarre. You're going to like, wait a minute, Travis, that makes no bloody sense. What are you talking about, mate? Very simple. You can experience an entire world sitting inside in stillness and here. And if you don't know how to do stillness, it, by the way, we're going to walk you through it in day one of the jump, which is absolutely free. Just go experience it. We're going to walk you through the whole hour, show you exactly how it works clinically, applicationally, and experientially. And you can get into this experience of what I want to experience. Now you've all had this in some form or another. So for example, You've all had these days where you felt really great. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to take on the world. I'm going to change the world. I'm going to go to work today. Everything's going to be dope. I'm going to feel great. And then you walk out the door and it seems like everybody's an instant a-hole. People cut you off in traffic. And, you know, people are just grumpy to you. You smile at someone. They don't even respond back. You're like, what the hell? The difference in those experiences, if you look at it, is your expectation or the doing it says, oh, I'm happy. I'm going to have a great thing. But maybe there's something underneath that we're not really looking at. The experience of what we're experiencing emotionally is what we're seeing reflected back to us and all the other people. Now, that's a big, sometimes a big tough pill to swallow, especially when you're first on your journey path of waking yourself up because you get to own the responsibility of your life and owning the responsibility that you're the architect is challenging. So here's one that will help you when you think about, I have nothing to do. So let's agree that the world in and of itself does not revolve around you or I right? The world doesn't revolve around you, but, and however, you 
are the center of your world. Now that's a completely different experience, no different than doing something and experiencing something. Again, the world doesn't revolve around you, but you are the center of, the, of your world. So if you're the center, doesn't it make sense that I want to experience happiness? I want to experience peace. I want to experience relaxation. I want to experience calming of the mind. I want to experience some sort of connectivity in a world now that openly promotes social distancing. Wow. Right? How do we stay connected in a socially distanced world? First connection starts here, right here, Boop, right inside. Boom. I'm connected with that which matters most. So when we start talking about what I'd what to do when you have nothing to do, the first thing to do is to change what you're doing and shift it to an experience. Boom, you're like, oh, Travis, it can't be that easy. Isn't that the first thing you need to shift right there? Is that thought process that says it can't be that easy? Because that in and of itself, family, is a belief structure because it can be that easy. You know how I know that? You know how you know that? You know how you can experience that? You've already done it. You've had those days where everything flowed perfectly. You had the best dang day. Everything went right. You smiled at people. They smiled at you. The traffic was light. You were flying. All the phone calls went well. You closed your sales. You did your thing. You hit your deadline. You picked the kids up. Everybody's in a good mood. You had those days. Here's the best part you really kind of have no idea how that happens, but you damn sure want to make sure it happens a lot more often, right? It starts with understanding the experience that you're creating internally, or what we call in architect language, the IS, or the IS, the internal state. We actually teach that in Architecting Mastery, but it's kind of a precursor to what we're talking about. So when one learns how to change their internal state, you change your experience, which changes how and what you're doing, right? Again, you can be experiencing the entire world without having to do anything. Right. And especially in the time now where everyone's saying, hey, you know, I've already watched um, Netflix four billion times. I've seen everything on Netflix. Now, what do I do? OK, what do you mean now? What do you do? Where are you learning? There's an entire world to expand from within that will eventually reflect itself outside now and over the next 30 days as we go through the remaining part of this process, at least at minimum, and if nothing else, at least two more weeks. So let's start mentally experiencing and more important, physically experiencing from an emotional level what we want to experience. You see, in a microcosmic way or smaller way, we're all experiencing this in some form or another under the social distancing. How do I connect externally? But we start, before we start worrying about connecting externally, we need to flip it around and connect internally. Day one of the jump is going to teach you how to do that. Absolutely free. It's going to show you how to do it. It's called Architecting in Awe or A-W-E, like oh, amazing. Because there's a lot of amazing things still going on. Amazing, the world's still turning. Shipping's still happening. Trucking's still happening. Things are still happening out there. They're just happening at a different pace of experience then we've conditioned ourselves to believe is the normal pace see we're used to being in chaos we're used to being in pain we're used to being in judgment we're used to being in negativity we're used to being pressed for time we're used to being used to being used to being used to being but here's the funny thing we're really not being we're just doing we're used to doing now is the opportunity now is the invitation to get used, used to being, used to be, used. It's called be used. There's a little slang there. <laughs> get used, used to being in how your experience is going. You see, one of the great things about this time, and I know that sounds really oxymoronic because you're like, how can this be great? People are dying. We're getting coronavirus and the world's gone to the other thing because it is a forced what we used to be used to doing forced into us being experiential now, specifically with some of the ideology of now what we call social distancing, right? What do you mean social distancing? How do, how do I distance myself socially? There's 7.4 billion people on the planet. Hmm. But we can change and experience anything we want to experience. You know how I know that? I want you to go back in time right now, okay? And I know you can do this, but I just want you to go back in time. Right. And however you see time doesn't matter. If you see it out there in front of you, you see it behind you, you see where it doesn't matter. Just see it. Right. I just want you to see the experience of when you were a kid. And if you need that experience a little more closely, watch maybe your kids or your neighbor's kids. If you can keep your social distance, of course. But I want you to experience that when you were younger, you experienced entire worlds instantly. 
You knew exactly what it felt like. You were, in, you know, you were happy. You were excited. You were in fantasy land. You could cry on the spot. You felt pain. You felt all of the experiences. And most of the time you were make believe. You were making yourself believe, which is a really cool way of saying when I dropped into the emotion of it, I could make myself believe my, my mind, believe it, not my mind, making my being believe it, but my being making my mind believe that. I was actually experiencing it. And so we got to play house or we had to have, you know, a couple of tea or we played, you know, cowboys and Indians or we did whatever we did, but we experienced it fully and experiential. It was somewhere around early teens and maybe middle school that we traded in our being for doing. We traded in our dreaming found down here for hoping. Hope kind of sucks, doesn't it? Because it kind of tends to let you down. And we traded in an extraordinarily experiential life as though you're in the theme park of it for mediocrity, paying the bills, and just kind of passing through under this kind of veiled form of hypnosis, our own self-imposed hypnosis, I might add. And Architects Community, which is now 30 years old officially, and all the people around the world have said, or in the architect community have said, hey, you know, our endeavor isn't to sit there and sing Kumbaya and, you know, head on the beach and have, you know, dance naked around a campfire. Although that's fun. That's an experience. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a step-by-step -step system that you can use that moves you from riches, meaning the riches of your mind, chasing stuff, materialism, paying the bills, doing those things, to the wealth of your being, of who you are. I mean, like right now, if you wanted to, you could literally shift your experience about this right now. You could go, yes. Or you can continue to listen to your mind that's giving you all the BS excuses of no. Now, if you don't know the rules of the conscious mind, which by the way is in day two of the jump, which is also for free, you're subject to the whims of a mad mind or a mad man or mad woman. Put one up here. And if you're like most, it isn't just one, it's four or five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13 of them running around. Doesn't mean you're schizophrenic, it just means you're a little neurotic. But that goes back down to what we're experiencing underneath, which is why when people are out there all talking about this law of attraction and law of abundance and all this other stuff, what they're not telling you is that law of attraction was thought to be linear. I think it, it shows up. Okay. If that's true, okay, I want you to think of something fairly easy and see if it shows up. Chances are it probably won't because the experience, the emotion of what's going on down here is the one that's really running the show. And deep down here, we call that the architect's heart or you, your heart. That's architect's heart, the center, the center of your castle. You are the center of your world. And if you're not knowing how to architect your world, because we tend not to teach this in the educational system anymore, we teach people how to go to sleep, how to take tests, pass results, out a boy, out a girl, but that's it. But we don't really teach them how to be who they are and to create from who they are, to experience the world as they'd like to experience it. And the guides that look, you know, none of us are getting off this planet alive. So doesn't it make sense to live your butt off? And of course, again, life without living, I mean, fully expressed is like the ultimate undoable regret. The only person that gets screwed in that deal is you or me. And the architect's invitation is this. We're standing ready. We're from all over the world, all walks of life, male and female, tall and short, doesn't matter your color. As long as you're pink on the inside, we don't care. doesn't matter your education level. doesn't matter. The system has been tested and timed tested for 30 years that it can scale itself. And it does. And now with this new platform, it scales it even faster because it's ad infinitum, right? Meaning ad infinitum, ad infinite. We can keep going and more and more are adding there every single day. And so those of you who are going through the jump, congratulations. There is a full jump, by the way. This is the first three days. The full jump is 14 days, and you'll see that there. And we've made we've lowered that price to 97 bucks. It's the cheapest it's ever been. Enjoy. Don't have to do it. Not a requirement. But what if you did? What if you experienced something completely different? What if you actually learned something you could apply in real time? And here's the best part. And parents, I encourage you to look at this from this different point of view. Instead of putting Netflix on or Amazon or whatever you're, you're watching or YouTube, why don't you give your kids a chance to go through the jump with you? Teach them the skills that we don't teach in school anymore. Of course, we don't have school anymore because they're all shut down all over the bloody place, in some cases for the year. So isn't it time now that we really take parenting back? We take parenting back of passing knowledge and wisdom down, right? 
not just take some test skills and get a you know a degree and a diploma and hope to God you get a good job, although that has its merit, I get it, but teach those skills that makes that even a more enhanced thing because the things that we teach at Architect are wealth for life. They're skills that cannot be taken away from you because you understand you, you, and how to find your true compass and stay in your passion. When the new passion test comes out this week, which is interactive, by the way, you're going to choose your own path. You're going to interactively choose. It's going to guide you through wherever you choose. It's called the different variations in there. And it's going to talk about the three areas that are probably most important to you. And you get to choose your own path. There is no right or wrong. That's what's super cool about it because you are the architect of your life and your lifestyle. The question your question is, are you ready? So in the post right there is the first three days of the jump. There are meditations there, but that's how we start to deal with how do we do, uh, what do we do when we have nothing to do? It's about changing our experience. If you have any questions, you can write them in the, the chat. I'm here or other architects are there. Uh, you can see them uh, in the in the jump. I think that's in the chat right over there. I see Connie is here. Uh, Connie is an architect graduate and also an architect council member, I might add. Uh, Mary Sankus, who is an AIT. Let's see who else is in here. Um, hey, Scotty Matthews. How are you, buddy? Long time no see. <laughs> wow. Hi, Mark. Mark from UK. Mark, uh, Mark Stephen Pooler. Fantastic. Um, let's see who else is here. Cool. Got a bunch of people in here. Fantastic. A bunch of other the architects are here. So also, too, when you're in the back end, the architects will reflect with you. So when you have questions or you get stuck and your brain wants to twist you out and you're like, ah, you know, and if you just want someone to jam with who's been down this journey all the way and is also on the journey continually. Because remember, just because we're architects and we uh, do this for a living doesn't mean we have all the answers. It just means we have really good questions so that you can come to your own answers that are hidden down here. And that's the difference between, you know, something else that's going to give you quote unquote advice, as opposed to us helping you come to the truth and listening to your own advice much better path. Anyway, I thought I'd reach out to you, give you a quick hi. Uh, that is day number six. Uh, we'll be back again and continue to grow more and more stuff and adding more and more things, including the passion tests and some of the new calendar chats. And of course, more importantly, go get your badges and get your first couple of days of the jump and all the meditations for free. They are unlimited use. Look forward to seeing you on the inside. Take care. Stay safe. Architect out. Bye-bye.